Hey, I'm Joe, and this is my critique on the Huion W58 wireless drawing tablet and the X Pen Artist 10S drawing tablet display. Now, I've had both of these tablets, uh, well, from different lengths from each other. I had the Huion first, and I had that for about three years, and I just recently got the X Pen. I thought it'd be interesting to do a kind of just critique video comparing uh, Huion versus X-Pen. Obviously there are varying ranges of I guess advancement since they're bought three years separate from each other. But either way let's get into this. So kicking it off with the X-Pen drawing tablet. The drawing tablet display is the X-Pen Artist 10S. It has a 10.1 inch display, hotkeys, HD display, and 2080 levels of pen pressure. It goes for about $299.99 on Amazon, but that's just a small price to pay compared to the Wacom Cintiqs, which go for about, I don't know, around $2,000, I'd say around the same price as a, lap a MacBook or a desktop, a Mac desktop. Either way, getting into the X-Pen 10s. when I was using it, I felt that the display, it was accurate, the buttons really helped, it was faster than me stretching my arm across to type on the keyboard, it's just right there, so I didn't really have to spread my bro my body across a large distance. It was really high sensitivity, and you can see that from how the lines kept turning out. They kept shaking a bit, they look a bit wobbly compared to when I used the Huion, but I think that's a good thing, that's due to the high sensitivity the tablet has. And you can also tell it has good pen pressure about a 40 level difference from the Huion and you can really get the detail out of it. The comparable pen pressure is seen when I change the brush size between the two tablets. With the X-Pen I actually use a smaller brush than I did with the Huion and that was kind of a plus. The brush size was accurate to the lines that were forming on the screen. Really, all in all, I would say the X-Pen tablet is great. It's a great pen display. I wouldn't recommend it for people who are just starting out. For people who are just starting out, I'd suggest a tablet like the Huion W58. It gives you easy uh, mobility with the pen and teaches you just the basics of using a drawing tablet compared to using like a notebook or paper. It's way cheaper. Uh, it goes for about $40 compared to the expense 299 You kind of want to buy a display when you're certain it, you want to go into like digital art, stuff like conceptual art or 3D design then you're definitely going to want to get a display, but till then I would use a normal drawing tablet. And there are better ones out there, I would recommend getting one with the buttons, the buttons make a huge difference in comparison. Uh, and I'll go into that a bit more when I talked about the Leon tablet and how I felt to use that. But all in all, I'd say it's a great tablet if you want to uh, I guess jump ahead in a sense of being prepared for a career in the arts, the digital arts. I would recommend getting uh, X-Pen, it's far cheaper than the Cintiq. It's portable and it's very simplistic to use, especially when you get the settings right. I really didn't have the setting right in this video, so it was a bit harder to use than the Huion, which I'm used to. I set the settings like three years ago and I've never needed to change them, but with the X-Pen I'm getting used to it, so 
well, you can see the results. I still say it's better than the Huion, even without me setting it up. But yeah, that's it for the X-Pen. Moving on to the Huion drawing tablet. It's a 9.4 inch active area. That's about the area you can draw in. It has a wireless USB dongle, so it's even easily maneuverable. You can even attach your laptop to like a TV through a HDMI and use the drawing tablet on that. It has a pen pressure of 2040, like I said. It is 40 less than the X Pen's pen pressure, and you can see a distinct difference in the results. And it goes for, as I have said, $45.99 on Amazon. It's a cheap and easy tablet to buy. I would actually recommend buying a different version, a version with the pen. I believe it's, sorry, a version with the buttons because buttons really help. Um, let me just check. I believe it's called... Um, Huion 58 drawing tablet, W58 drawing tablet is the one I have right now, but its counterpart with um, the buttons is the Huion H610 Pro. It's a bigger display and has uh, seven, bu seven, eight buttons that you can use really fast and also comes with a drawing glove, glove which is kind of useful if you don't want to leave like streaks on the board. Same thing with the X-Pen, it comes with a drawing glove, glove. Wow, I can't say glove. Okay, drawing glove to keep your hand from making streaks on the tablet and to, I don't know, not mess with the pen pressure. I feel like it's just mostly used for streaks, but uh, I'm sure there's other uses that you can find online. Either way, on to my thoughts on the Huion. So when I was drawing with the Huion, I found that it was more useful to use my laptop screen than it was with the display tablet. While the display tablet allows you to accurately draw on the screen as compared to a normal drawing tablet where the area is kind of proportion ratio to the screen but you're using the screen as kind of a guideline you can't directly draw onto the screen with this drawing tablet if you get what I'm saying. Essentially you're draw you're drawing on the tablet but you have to pay attention to the screen. You never gets like an accurate line from where you start to where you stop. With the X-Pen you get an accurate line because you can see where you start and you can see where you stop. With the Huion I found it difficult to do that. As you can see in this uh, speed draw, I kept drawing lines over and over again because I knew where they started but I could never get where they ended correctly so I had to keep on drawing them. With the X-Pen I never found that difficulty. I knew where I was drawing even though it's came out with more of a shaky line because I was careful uh, with the streak. That's just something that me as an artist I have to get used to. I have to get used to drawing with uh, confident strokes when I'm doing my sketches or when I'm doing my digital drawings. With the Huion, I, as I said, I had less of less accuracy in drawing the lines, and the pen pressure kind of messed me up because I had to get a different size of brush. So there's also a difference in the line thickness. Because the Huion tablet, the way it works on my Mac, I'm not sure if this is a problem for anyone else, but I have to use a bigger brush. Yet it gets me a uh, really tiny line. Uh, that's due to pen pressure, it's just how it works. Low pressure, uh, thinner line, high pressure, thicker line. But the pressure kind of messes up on Photoshop, so you have to use a huge brush.
to get the results you want. Apart from that, it's less sensitive. So that was kind of a bonus for the lines. They came out confident. They look confident compared to the X Pen, where they look shaky. But they also come out less accurate with different, different thicknesses because you can never actually get a congruent pressure with the Huion tablet. However, I would recommend the Huion tablet for beginners, people who are just starting off in digital art. If you can get your hands on a different kind of drawing tablet, like maybe from a friend or maybe in school, then you can try that out. But if you're going out to buy one, I would recommend the Huion. This is the first one I got because it was super cheap. It was just like a trial run. And once you get used to it, it's just like a really good tool to have as a digital artist. And as you get better, you can move on to something like the X Pen, which, in my opinion, just elevates your art to a whole different level. It adds detail to your lines and adds accuracy to your drawings. I can't wait to use the X Pen in the future. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to future tutorials. I don't know, I'm just really tired. I've been doing a lot of work and I haven't posted anything lately. And that's why I really want to get this out there. So, yeah, that's my opinion on the Huion versus the X Pen tablets. Please leave your comments below about what you think, what kind of drawing tablets you use. And I'll see you later. Joke out. Oh, yeah. I, I nearly forgot to do the outro. So. You know, same old, same old. If you like the art videos I've been posting, please check the video on the top left. If you like my old stuff, my gaming stuff, you can check out the video on the bottom left. And if you like this drawing, you can check out the original piece or sketch on my DeviantArt page. Uh, it's under OC Duke. I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, I guess comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Joke out.